Police say two men brought a big weapon with them as they tried to steal a car overnight in Oakland County. This photo you're seeing is from a homeowner's security camera in Madison Heights. Police say the two men tried to steal a Dodge Durango on Cousins, which is near 11 Mile and John R. See, one of them had an AR-15 style pistol with him. The men were unsuccessful at stealing the car. They were gone, though, when police arrived. If you know who they are, give police a call. Wow. Nearly 70 people are dead, more than 100 still missing in the tornado outbreak that spanned eight states. The destruction is so great, it may be more than a week before there is a final count on the lives lost. The age, the age range is five months to 86 years, and six are younger than 18. The death and devastation overwhelming Kentucky's governor as he announces the ages of some of those killed following this past weekend's deadly storms. Help keeps pouring in from all over the country. Um, thank you. The fast moving storm system swept through eight states, destroying thousands of structures, flattening entire communities. Glass broken, all the furniture's torn, uh, broken. Um, it's, just, it's just sad. The death toll expected to rise. Among those killed, 29-year-old Navy veteran Clayton Cope, who died when a tornado caused an Amazon warehouse in Illinois to collapse. He was a, a wonderful, caring person, and that his presence will be a huge void in so many lives. Federal officials promising to offer whatever help is needed, but the damage is catastrophic. Now on the third day of recovery efforts, the sheer scope of the work ahead is becoming apparent to those who have lost everything. You know, where we're standing, it's going to be weeks on end. And, and I say weeks and it could be longer, um, we'll, but we'll do everything we can to do it faster. If we can, we will.